No way! The chess Olympiad started? Yes, round number one. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Grandmaster and I really want to welcome you all to the recap of round number one of 2024 Olympics Games of Chess in Hungary. Are you excited? I must admit, I am really exciting. And you know, the question is what will happen? Who will win it all? Will it be the legends from America? Or maybe the talents from India? Or perhaps the phenomenal Uzbeks will win it again? Let's find out together, so sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Today we will see a very interesting game between the Fide Master Andre Mendes from Panama against one of the best players in the world, the Grandmaster Levon Aronian from United States. You know, notice the rating difference between the two, 600 points. So Levon played with the black pieces. Let's see what, ha what happened. So e4, c5, Sicilian opening, knight is 3 knight to c6. As we know, the main line here is d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4. Probably Levon thought to play knight f6, knight c3, and maybe here d6 with Rouser, maybe e5 with Sveshnikov, or maybe e6, right? So it's very important. Uh, you know, opening to learn with, with both sides. But after knight c6, the opponent from Panama played the move bishop to b5. He chose to play the Rosolimo variation. And now Levon played the move knight to f6. There are several options here to play e6 or g6, the main line. But knight f6 is interesting line because the pawn on e4 is at, under attack and now knight c3 just uh, defend the pawn g6 e5 knight to h5 the point here that after knight g4 there is some line after bishop takes c6 d takes c6 i don't know for example h3 looks great knight h6 and now castle rook e1 d3 but also for black it's fine i think knight f5 knight e4 b6 a4 something around uh, this line i remember that but i'm not sure at all also d3 can be possible also rook e1 looks fine but the opponent here played you know levon of course after e5 played the move knight to h5 i think very i don't know how to say but for me it's a little bit uh, strange to see such move because the knight here the only thing that you must think of that you want to bring the knight to f4 and maybe to e6 afterwards but now just white bishop takes c6 played d takes c6 and now castle everything looks fine knight to g7 was played i think overall after knight f4 the point here is maybe d3 knight e6 but also looks really good for black bishop g7 b6 bishop a6 queen d7 you know short castle rook a d8 looks really a fine position for black but knight g7 another i don't know a little bit strange move by Aronian, d3 and now h6. Why not to play the move knight e6 with bishop g7, b6, bishop a6? I'm not sure, but h6. It seems like, you know, white already castle, right? Uh, already uh, developed his two knights. The bishop will come to f4, the rook on e1, and black all his pieces on the eighth row. It seems like Aronian here, I don't know, he thought maybe to play g5, I'm not sure what he wanted to do, but you know, the the very beginning principles that you must know in chess, that you bring all the pieces, you're developing them, you're improving them. So h6 is just a bad move here. Knight to f e4, of course, and now the c5 pawn is under attack. b6 was played and rook e1. The point here, maybe, for example, after queen c7, there is a it, knight d6 check, e takes, e takes d6 check with uh, just taking the queen, of course, so black is just losing absolutely. So rook e1 developing another piece, improving it, and it seems like black is uh, a little bit problems because he didn't castle yet, he didn't develop his pieces, so let's see what happened. Knight 
to f5. Also, this move a little bit strange. I think 96, oh sorry, 96 must be the move, right? Because this e file a little bit annoying for Black. Let's put the knight on e6. Let's play bishop g7, bishop a6, c4, queen d5, maybe something around this. But knight f5, I don't know what this knight is doing on f5. So white played the move c3, just avoiding from knight to come to d4, g5. As you can see, Levon is playing without his pieces. Why? Right? You need to develop your pieces. So I think he, afraid, he was afraid of bishop g7, I don't know, knight f6 or maybe g4. Yeah, the knight just dropped here, right? So yeah, it looks bad. I think for overall, maybe knight g7, knight e6 should be the move or maybe bishop a6, bishop b, b, maybe bishop e6. But g5, I don't know, looks terrible. Queen to a4, attacking these pawn on c6, now queen c7 was played. The point here that after bishop d7 there is fantastic a tactic hit, knight f6 check, e takes f6, e takes f6 check, and after bishop e6, queen takes e6, queen d7 the only move and the rook on a8 is just lost and white is winning absolutely. So after queen a4, queen c7 was played and this was a brilliant mistake. Not a brilliant, but a very big mistake. What can he do now? G4, amazing move by Andre Mendes. So he asked Levon, what are you doing with this knight on f5? And as you can see, Levon thought until now only 10 minutes. It's really bad situation for him. So the point here that after the move knight g7, for example, knight d6, as we already saw this idea, he takes d6, he takes d6, and this position is just losing. And if he's not taking the knight, just king d7, just knight takes f7, f7 of course, and e6, knight e5, the game is over, totally over. So after g4, can you believe Levon Orian played the move queen to b7? just a full knight in this position white is totally winning bishop takes f5 and here white has full piece for one pawn this should be game over andre mendes the firmaso from panama with a rating of 2122 against levona ronyan one of the best players in the world with rating of 2729 has one piece up in the chess Olympiad, round number one. Can you believe it? So for now, I must tell you guys, for me, if you like, stop the video now and think by yourself, why and how can it happen, right? It's shocking. Okay, we are coming back. So Bishop takes f5 and now what was here? d4 was played by Andre, bishop g4 attacking the knight and now d5 was just winning absolutely and why because after bishop takes f3 d takes c6 queen c7 and now knight to d6 the point here that after queen c8 there is just fantastic mate c7 check queen d7 knight f6 check e takes e takes f6 check yeah, and that's it. Bishop e7, of course, rook takes and taking the queen and the game is over. So it's just brilliant tactics here. But yeah, it's not so easy to, to see it. But yeah, this position just over. Knight d6 check, king d8, knight f7, and the rook is under attack. And yeah, white is just winning, absolutely. So after bishop g4, it seems like Andrew Mendes felt like, oh, I I'm winning, absolutely. I know it, but the pressure, the pressure. I know that I'm playing against one of the best players in the world. And maybe the pressure was was much higher than he uh, can uh, you know like can uh, feel in during the game. So Bishop G4, Knight F D2 was played. C takes D4, Knight to B3. Also C takes D4 looks really good. I don't know why he didn't play it, but Knight B3 also very very strong. Castle C takes D4, King B8, Bishop D2, also another good move. But as you can see, Andre Mendes in the 90 moves has only 29 minutes for the game, so it's not so easy for him. Bishop D7, he played the move Queen A3. Also another sacrifice here was, was amazing, Knight B C5, and after B takes C5, just Knight takes B C5, Queen, I don't know, Queen B5 for example, take, take, and Bishop A5, this position just losing absolutely, right? 
And if he's not playing the move queen b5, for example, I don't know, queen c8, just bishop a5 with rook e3, rook b3, the game is just over. The king on b8 is very weak and the checkmate will come very fast. But queen a3 was played, bishop f5. Levon, of course, uh, doesn't give up any time against nobody. So he's playing rook a c1, e6, queen a4, and now rook c8, just, you know, playing some moves. Levon is waiting for a mistake. And the mistake was happened. Rook c3 was played, and this is fine. The, the, the you know, the, the point here that maybe he wants to play the move knight a5 with rook b3, right? Because the b a file is very weak for black. King a8 was played, just prophylactic move. Knight to g3, bishop h3. Now something around c5 with queen g2 is a checkmate idea. Let's see what happened. And now knight f1. This was a mistake. And here, Levon is coming back with so much confidence. As you can see, the knight f1 move is attacking the bishop on h3. But b5. Very strong move. And the point here was that after queen a5, there is just amazing move for the black. Bishop b4. Queen takes b4 and c5 with double threat. Queen g2 checkmate and also the queen on c5. So the best here is rook takes h3, c takes b4, bishop takes b4. And this position looks better for white, but it's not so easy. Because you have like three pieces against the queen. And yeah, it looks like really good position, but I'm not sure that it's winning. Bishop d6, knight c5, I don't know, rook a3, knight e3. But also black is playing h5, g4, rook c, g8, h4. I don't know, it looks, it looks really interesting. But after b5, knight a5 was played and this was a blunder. b takes a4, knight takes b7, and bishop takes f1. As you can see, Andrew Mendes, you know, has only four and a half minutes on this position i'm not sure you can see it but i will tell you guys that after bishop f1 that's it black is not worse now king takes f1 king takes b7 and the piece came up for for levon Oronian and rook c4 bishop e7 rook a4 and now he's playing fast with confidence levon Oronian, one of the best players in the world and you know he's just uh, doing for us one very important thing that we all need to learn from here. How can we survive any position? How can we never give up? How can we attack? How can we do also psychological things to attack and, you know, to bring our opponent not an easy situation to play? And this is what Levoronian doing it in a 30 move in the game, Andre Mendes with only three minutes on the clock. Bishop e3, c5 is tanking it, and bishop e6, every move is coming to uh, is better options for Levon. h5 is playing fast with confidence, rook g8, rook f1, and now rook f2, the blunder from Andre Mendes in the 40 move, and h4 just, king g2, and now rook is go going to d1, and rook e2 is a blunder, h3 check, king g2, king g3, sorry, rook g3 check, King h4 and now g3, take, take, and the next move will be very easy. Rook 3 to g7 with checkmate in a spot. So, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoy this video. Press the like button. Uh, it's, it's not uh, worth money, right? Subscribe my channel. See you soon in recap of round number 2. See you soon. Bye-bye.